In today's videos, you can check your knowledge of the techniques of inventory control, the benefit of a just-in-time system, what obsolescence is, an inventory reorder points, and the benefit of inventory control. And you can also obtain the skill practice on understanding of the concept of inventory control and its benefits for a business. The access of your knowledge so you can gain more about the meaning of obsolescence. Verify that you can understand about the benefit of a just-in-time system and interpret them correctly. In this video, you can also determine what inventory control refer to. Review the characteristics of just-in-time system and identify inventory control method. So, let's get started for today's topic. Inventory control is the process of ensuring that the right amount of inventory on hand. Extract right definitions and the best practice of inventory control and understand the relevant factors such as automations, reorder points, and quality control. Miss Mary, who owns a ABC grocery store in the city. Miss Mary is concerned because she seems to be throwing out large amount of foods that isn't selling. She knows this is costing her money and she would like some help putting some inventory control practices in place to eliminate these problems. Inventory control refers to the methods a company uses to ensure that it has just the right amount of inventory they need on hand at all times. Having too much of inventory can be expensive and depending on the products, excess inventory can result in spoilage or even obsolescence, which means that the inventory cannot be sold because of the products is outdated or no longer demanded by customers. All of these situations create extra costs for companies and additional costs result in less profits. Using these information, let's see how we can help Miss Mary. ABC Grocery Store started out for a small operation and at the time, a large investment in technologies to manage inventory didn't make sense. Now that her business has expanded and she has a second location, it is time for Miss Mary to make an investment in automation technology. One of the benefits of implementing an automation computer system is increased accuracy because Miss Mary will know exactly how much of each product she has and she won't have to manually count all the inventory as often as the currently does. This will save her time and it will save her cost because she won't have to pay employee to count. How might Miss Mary add automations to her store? Since all her products have barcode on them, she could start using handheld barcode scanner that would quickly and easily allow her to scan orders when they arise from her supplier. A barcode contains numbers and lines of different wave and a unit to each product. Once the barcode is scanned, the information is contained about the product and the quantity received will be recorded in her computer system. As customers purchase the item, her computer system will also record the decrease in inventory and she will have a much better idea of how much inventory she has on hand. She will also easily identify products that aren't selling well. Inventory is expensive to store and since Miss Mary inventory is perishable, it is important that she keeps the amount of store inventory she has under control to avoid spoilage. Miss Mary needs to determine a normal stock level for each of her products to balance not having too much on hand with having enough on hand to make customer demand. To help her solve this problem, Miss Mary may want to consider a just-in-time inventory control which ensures that inventory arrives at the business just when it's needed, thereby minimizing the risk of having too much or too little inventory. However, just-in-time system aren't without risk, while a just-in-time system would be helpful 
for Miss Mary Cashflow, since it means her inventory would be sold more quickly. Problem could be arises if a supplier is delayed or is unable to get the item to deliver to Miss Mary's store, such as in a natural disaster. It is also important for Miss Mary to determine how low she is willing to let her inventory stock go before she reorder a particular product. The reorder points represents the minimum level of inventory before a company must reorder or replenish it. The reorder points will vary from products to products. For example, Miss Mary perishable fruits and vegetables will need to be ordered more frequently than cleaning supplies or pasta sauce. What establish a reorder points ensures that Miss Mary will not have too much inventory. She must also be careful not to set the points too low and end up with too little inventory or she could face a stock out situations that would negatively impact her customers. Miss Mary would also have to consider the seasonal aspects of some of her products. For example, if Miss Mary lives in a university town, she will have to ensure that she has enough inventory for certain items as students return for the new school year and stock for their apartments and residences. She will also need higher inventory amount of certain items leading up to Christmas. Failure to recognize seasonal changes could result in Miss Mary running out of inventories that her regular customers may require. Finally, Miss Mary should ensure that the products she receives from suppliers meet her quality standards. Staff in the receiving store department could be provided with a checklist of items to be quality verified before a shipment is received. For example, Miss Mary would not want to receive fruits and vegetables that's already starting to spoil. Not only will accepting this inventory increase her overall inventory level, but she will also be unlikely to sell it to her customers. And if she tries to sell an inferior product to her regular customer, they may choose to shop elsewhere. Let's review the lesson summary here today. Inventory control refers to the method of company users to ensure that it has just the right amount of inventory it needs at all times. This practice helps to minimize costs incurred from storing large amount of inventory as well as obsolescence, which occur when a product is outdated or not wanted by customers. Inventory control methods include automating the inventory process by using barcode and scanner to track the amount of inventory on hand and how quickly each product is selling, as well as just-in-time inventory systems the ensure inventory arrive at the store just as needed. A just-in-time system minimizes the cost associated with having too much inventory, such as spoilage, storage, and obsolescence. A company should also establish the reorder point for each of its products, which is the minimum level of inventory before a product must be replenished. In addition, Quality control procedure should be built in place to ensure that only undamaged and unspoiled inventory is accepted. That's all for my sharing in today's video. As always, if you learn something new in my video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to record a weekly inventory episodes video like this to share with you guys. So make sure you subscribe to my channels and hit the notifications bell. My name is Vivian, I am a business software coach and I see you in the next video.